Hey everybody, welcome to another AI Fuzz video. This is Natalie and hope everyone is having a sunny, shiny day today. Um, today we're going to be giving you a, a nice workflow on how to upscale your video um, using upscale models and Comfy UI. So this is a uh, not a bad workflow, it's pretty compact and it will allow you to upscale any video no matter how long it is using any upscale model that you want so let's go over the nodes here first we're gonna go over the load video node and this is gonna be obviously to load your video important things here is this format you can see you can choose different formats Pinyon, Juan, if, if it if you generated the original video in those formats, this is one we did in one, and we're going to upscale this. Now the important thing about this is called the meta batch, and essentially what this is doing, it is telling the load video, if you see the number one here, that it only it only wants Comfy UA to process one image at a time. So if we go bring up the terminal window, you'll see here it is actually processing one image at a time so this allows you to upscale any video and not run out of memory it just may take longer for obviously a longer video but you won't have any issues upscaling because of the meta batch manager node here we have the upscale model you load the upscale model we would suggest using a four times upscaler um, experiment. Find one you like. We're trying an ultra sharp here. That's going to an upscale image using the model. So take the image and the upscale model from here. All right, now this is video info. And you're, nice freeze. And you're probably what is video info. The video info node is very important because it takes the video info from here and allows you to push out the frames per second of the source video, the width, the height, etc. And also a loaded one, frames per second, if you wanted to alter that. That all goes into the video combined node, which takes the image from the upscale meta batch which all, all is the node that tells it to process one frame at a time and the frames per second here which would be the frame rate we have it set at 24 so although this is same you have your format um, and your uh, titling so the first one we did we did a couple so this is one video we have a blank up And this is upscaled. Um, the dimensions are the same, but a good upscale the each frame. So it's not as soft that is, as it was. It's actually a lot sharper than the original video. And maybe I will put this at the end of this video so you can see it. That was one. Um, we're attempting to do this one, which was in one. We generated this in one, 2.1. And we're only at 94, 94 frame, frames, but we will show this. Uh, and then we also have other videos that we're running. And if you guys want a quick and easy tip, our favorite website to do quick videos is NIM. Now, NIM.video is a platform that lets you do text image image to video, text to video, with all the popular formats. So you see here, Kling Pro, Wan, Hunyan, uh, Bloomeray, all of them are here if you cost some credits, but it lets you generate some videos with those, and then you can output it, save it, and put that into ComfyUI as a source video. And just to show you what, our pro what my process was for this photo, I had had uh, an open art, created a Laura of Chiara, 
and I created an image of her in the bus stop, brought it into Photoshop to do some color grading, quick color grading, because this is sort of cheating, but Infinite Color is one of the best plugins we've used. It allows you to set up the color grade you want, but also allows you to have infinite color create different grades for you. And you can see right here, there is the original and there's that. And it's heavily graded right now. But once I take that, I bring it into nim.video. And I do the image to video. We use Kling Pro for this one. And this one came out like this her looking to the side. It was a simple prompt I used, but the good thing about NIM video is they like to enhance the prompt. And I'm going to put this video into Comfy Line, upscale it. And that's where we are here right now. So the video is in there. I put none format because it doesn't have cling in the Dropbox. But let's see where it's at right now. Okay, we're on image 9 of 153, so this shouldn't take much longer. As soon as it comes up, we'll see the finished product. Okay, so here's the result of that one. Um, I'm going to open it up. Using Valor Upscale, it looks pretty good. There's another example of an anime shot video that we used anime anime sharp upscaler okay here's the last example that I'm going to show you because it's making my comfy UI go crazy I took this video from VO2 generated the O2 and I used whoops the realistic render Really good tip is the frame load cap is this is how long you can set your animations. I usually set it to one twenty eight, or you can do it shorter if you want. But um, I my comfy UI is going crazy. But here's the video. So make sure you like and subscribe uh, to AI Fuzz, and hopefully have fun with this. And uh, let us know what you think. See you next time on Natalie. Bye.